right? This is building cues and building a palette for that cue. So to start, so we need to make you some intro cues um, is what we're gonna use as the example. So as you can see, I've already got in here different positions for the, for the moving fixtures in here. I've got them for, um, for the pointies and for the R2s. Um, and so you can see which ones are for which fixtures as you select those fixtures. So these are for the, as you can see, we've got the upstage floor pointies. These are the ones that respond to that. If we go over here, those are the ones that respond to the um, upstage truss pointies. Um, if we click on our, our, our Roby, our, our, I mean our Rogue 2 washes, these are the ones that'll respond to those um, and so on and so forth. So to build one of these, it's very simple. Say, we'll, we'll select our upstage truss pointies. We'll come over here to locate. We'll locate them. We'll see them go to their native home position. And then say we want, we, we need them, obviously we don't need them pointed down. We need them out in the audience doing some fun stuff. So we'll come over here to position. And then these are our encoder wheels that respond over here on the screen. Um, so you see you've got your pan and tilt. We don't need to mess with pan for this just yet. So first we'll, we'll move the encoder wheel. We'll tilt our fixtures up. And we're just going to do a basic one. We're not, we're not going to fan them out or anything because we're just going to put some movement into these later. So, so we just want them kind of fanned out somewhere where we think that they're not going to be in the judge's face, you know. And so we're going to call that that. Uh, um, we're going to... Normally, I wouldn't... Normally, you wouldn't want to program the palette for their position with the ones of the floor as well. Maybe sometimes, but in this case, we're not going to. So after we've got them, we're gonna say that we like it here. We'll come over here to record, just like we did earlier for the wash lights. We'll hit record, and we'll come back over here to our palette screen. We'll come down on this line that we're not using, and we'll click right there, and now you've got your new palette. Now you can clear out, and then if you go back into these, you hit the upstage truss, and then you hit locate again, They'll go back to that position, but then you hit palette and they'll snap to that palette for you. So now let's do the upstage floor pointings. We've cleared out with our upstage floor pointings. Again, we'll hit locate. They'll locate and uh, we're already in position, so we don't need to change to position because that was the last thing that we used. We'll tilt these forward as well, somewhere where we think where they won't be in the judge's faces or to brighten people's faces. We're gonna say that we like that. We're gonna hit record, and then we're gonna come back over here and right next to this other palette that we built, we're gonna record, and then we're gonna clear out. So now, obviously, if you just keep recording them and recording them without labeling them, you're just gonna have palette 58, 59, 60, so on and so forth. So same as we did with the wash queue, you're gonna come over here to set legend, set legend. We're gonna click the palette, and then you can put a halo of a color around it. You can you can put a picture in there. Um, some people like to do pictures. I, I prefer to just try to give myself a description. So we're gonna call this UST for upstage truss. And then we're gonna say P and T for point. And we're gonna say up and straight because we didn't make them, we didn't fan them in. We didn't fan them out. We did nothing like that. And then we're gonna click, and if you see here, after you hit enter, it records it. So we'll do that again for the other one. We'll click page legends, click what we wanna edit. And then for this, we'll do upstage floor, P and T for point, and then uh, up and straight. Cause we didn't fan them, we didn't tilt them or pan them or anything. Boom. Oh, sorry. 